Hey everybody, my name is Tina and today is already the 13th day of our 20 day awesome web challenge. And we will be looking more into responsive design today. And we will be looking for the answer, why is it important to even pay attention to responsive design? And also we will look into the biggest or the most common mistakes which are happening on the mobile designs. What is actually a mobile or responsive design and why should you pay attention to it? Um, well, actually, Josh Clark uh, had a very, very nice comparison because he compared the responsive design to water. It's like some liquid or some water. If uh, you imagine you have uh, your web page on a desktop and you imagine that your web page is not a web page but it's water and you want to transform it to the mobile device you need to take the water and put it in the mobile device and it changes right the water changes the shape so this is something your web page should also do and this is actually called responsive design why you should pay attention to some responsive design well let me show you one picture Actually, on this picture, it's uh, from the end of the year 2017, but I like, I mean, personally, I like the picture uh, because it's very nice to showing how many people are spending time from the different devices with a comparison how much uh, people are spending uh, from the different devices. So you can actually see that there's a huge potential in, uh, in the spending, in the finishing the purchases from the mobile devices because people are not used to finishing the purchases yet. Generally, the mobile devices are a huge trend and they are growing as hell. The, also, another thing which is good to realize is that many, many people had access to the laptops and internet through their computers, right? But there are billions of people who didn't have access to the computer and didn't have access to the internet at all. And right now, they actually literally jumped to the smartphones. So they all are having smartphones right now and they have access to the internet and they have access to all these different products, the web pages, e-shops and everything. So this is a huge, massive market for your product, for your company also. So this is why also the mobile devices are super important for you. What are the biggest mistakes on the responsive design? Well, I counted approximately like four of them, the biggest one I see. And the first one is actually about the confusing navigation on a responsive design on the mobile. Uh, the thing is that sometimes it happens when you are creating a web page, um, people are focusing too much just on a desktop and they totally forget to check how does the navigation look like on the phone. So they might have a perfect navigation on the desktop or on the laptop, but it's super confusing on the phone. So the people are actually getting lost. And if the people are getting lost, as we know, they will leave they will not send you a purchase, they will not buy your product, and that's the terrible thing. How you can make sure that uh, the design or the navigation would be great on both devices? Um, first of all, test it. Test it as many times as you can. That's the easiest way how you can find that it's working or not. And the second thing is, uh, even during the creation, uh, sometimes it might be better to start to create the design on your web page first on your mobile rather than the creating the uh, design on the laptop first. Yeah, and now I mean basically when you are developing the web page and how you should decide with which device you should start. Basically just check Google Analytics. You can find them there how many visitors are coming to your web page through the mobile device or through the web page. If you have more visitors coming through your phone, start developing mobile design first. 
It's super important for you since you have more customers from the mobile device. Another thing is that if you actually know that your target group is spending most of the time on the phone or there is a higher possibility that they will come to your web page from their phone, start with the mobile design first also. Another very common mistake is that sometimes the interactive elements don't look actually interactive on the mobile devices. Well, why is this happening? Basically, if you have a laptop and you imagine you have a mouse, you have the mouse cursor and you are browsing some web page, you see that the mouse is sometimes changing so you know that you should click on something, right? But if you have the phone, you don't have anything like a mouse in there. You have just your thumb and you are browsing like this. Um, so in here, nothing can actually change just by the cursor of the mouse because you don't have it in here. So this is sometimes why it happens that the interactive elements don't look interactive actually, which is pity. Also on a computer, there might be some hover effects which actually makes you think that you should click on it, which is again not present on the mobile device. So this is another thing which is actually missing on the phone. So actually on the phone, you should replace these elements with some other graphic uh, visualization, which actually helps people to click on the places they should click. So for example, on this page, it looks kind of cool. Here you can actually see that it's quite understandable that the people should do some action in here. But on the other hand, there is some space for improvement. Another quite big mistake is that users are overwhelmed on their mobile devices. Why is this happening? Well, imagine this is kind of a huge screen, right? So you can put a lot of content, a lot of pictures, a lot of text and everything in here. But this thing is much, much smaller. So imagine if what happens, if everything from here, you will just squeeze in and put it on your phone. The people will literally get overwhelmed and there will be so much information, so much text, so much graphics. You need to make you, you need to make it lower, you need to put there less content on the mobile devices than you have on the desktop. You know what is also actually very interesting? Uh, if you are thinking about the content you should have on the desktop or on your phone, it's actually a good thing to prioritize the content you should have on the phone, right? and think what is the most important content I need to have on my mobile devices. And on the other hand, do you really need all the content you currently have on the desktop? Do you really need it in there? Wouldn't it be enough to have there just the same content you have on your mobile device? The last but not least, actually I would say the worst, common mistake is that sometimes it happens that there are many mistakes in the contact forms on the mobile devices. And this is the worst why, because the people are actually want to contact you from the, from the phone, for example, and they are not able to because the contact form is just not working on the mobile device. So check all your contact form from different kind of mobile devices if they are really working. It is actually the same with all the pop-up windows and all these kind of pop-up elements, let's say. Uh, because sometimes, I don't, know if ever hap I don't know if it ever happened to you, but for me it had sometimes happened that I was visiting some web page and just the pop-up window showed up and I was not able to just close it because I was on my mobile device and the pop-up window was designed for the desktop. That's it today. And now you should 
go ahead and check your web page. I hope you don't have these common mistakes, but if you do, just try to repair them. Text or write to your IT developers or whoever is responsible for your web page and make sure you don't have them. Maybe you might find some new mistakes which I didn't mention. If you do so, write me below in the comments what you found. Um, maybe we'll get, we can uh, see uh, some new opportunities in there also. And actually, uh, since I'm talking about the opportunities, tomorrow you can be looking forward for the another video about the mobile devices, about the design on the mobile device and opportunities going on with this. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumb up. And if you want to get uh, more interesting information and tips about the web pages and the design, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I will be looking forward to see you tomorrow in the 14th day already.